this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Radiant Historia, Perfect Chronology. Last time, we got stuck at the border to Granorg here. Well, there's nothing we can do here for now, so let's head on back to the other timeline. Let's see, so we could head back to Alma Mine, but I actually want to go back to the beginning here, because if you recall, there was the guy who had the side quest who needed the two anti-sleeps that we just bought, so I want to be able to give those to him here. And there's something else that I'd also like to do on the way to Alma Mine, so just skip past all the cutscenes, hey, go through uh, joining with Rosh again, but yeah, we'll just Rush. skip past everything on the way there, and the side quest will be available to us again. Well, I mean, we already have the side quest, but we'll have access to the guard who wanted those anti-sleep set we bought earlier at the, what was it, the Sand Fortress there. And you can tell we can complete the side quest by the green marker over the guy's head. If only. Well, I got a couple here. Here, then. You should use these. They're experimental, though. I'd watch out for that. Oh, what's this? The Alistel Edge, one of my favorite weapons in the game. It's a <laughs> lot better than it was in the original version of the game, where it was already fairly decent. But yeah, the nice thing about the Alistel Edge is that it's the only weapon in the game for Marco that boosts his speed, and it's a huge boost there. Like, an accessory that caught, that boosts your speed by five, I think costs like 30 grand or something like that. So yeah, th this is huge. Just for the speed alone, forget about the other stats, I don't care about that for Marco. So yeah, normally I would give that to Marco, but I'm gonna have him in the reserves, so I'm actually just gonna give it to Stock there. And actually, you know what, as long as we're here, let's uh, rearrange the party as before. I want Marco in the reserves there, so I have a magic user up front there. Let's see, Marco, you don't need your silver mail anymore or the breeze armlet. But let's see, I think Rainy's gonna be the most vulnerable character now. So let's give that to her. Let's switch spears with Rosh, since Rosh is only gonna be attacking and Rainy won't almost ever. And let's see, Stock's got less, I think he's got less HP than Rosh. Yeah, he does. So he's gonna need the help a bit more on the armor than Rosh does. Okay, so we got all that. Let's double check that there. Yeah, Marco's in the reserves there, so we can focus on healing. Oh yeah, I need to give the Breeze Armlet to Ross, because, well, look at the guy. He's huge, and he's pretty slow. So, yeah, anything you can give to him will help a lot. And let's see. Okay, yeah, I do need to rest up at the end, though. Now, you could just skip ahead to Alma Mine, but there's something else that I want to do on the way there, so we might as well just walk over there. I'm going to skip all the enemies on the way, of course, but if you recall, there was a soldier who got trapped in a cave-in in one of the, well, one of the caves around here. And by the time we were able to get to him, it was too late. But now that we've gone back in time, we can help him out. So let's get back here, over to the cave where, just right by where we met the spy on the other timeline. And this time, he's still alive. Huh? Technically, wouldn't that explosion kill the soldier? I mean, they did a Mythbusters episode on that, didn't they? Thank goodness. But let, let's just pretend it makes logical sense and help him out. Oh, I didn't know there was anyone here at the time besides us. Thank you. Oh, well, you're welcome. But for rescuing, we get a scroll. Hmm. Thank you. 
I didn't know I had a quest, but uh, you're welcome. I thought we just made a note of it or something, not really got a qu side quest, but... Well, in any case, we got a reward there. Let's see what that thing does. Hmm. Okay, that doesn't really help us at all. Well, it's like a... I guess it's like a right assault or something like that. Hmm. Well, remember that for later. We're not going to be able to put that to use for a little while. Okay, so now we could actually just skip to Alma Mine. But by the time I actually get to a save point that I could just use to hop over there, I'm right almost there anyway. So we might as well just keep walking over there. Just skip all the enemies along the way. We don't need the experience. We're actually a little over leveled for this stuff yes. now on this timeline because we went so far into the other timeline there. And we're not obscenely over leveled, but well, you know what I mean. Okay, so if you recall when we were on the standard history timeline before, we couldn't find the bombs we needed to get in there. But well, we rescued the bomber man on the other timeline, so let's see what happens. But yeah, you have to send out scouts in order to advance the plot anyway. No. Let's send out scouts. We can't ignore the possibility that the forces coming here are just a diversion. It would be more prudent to strike swiftly than to engage them in a prolonged ambush. How are you going to do that? You're right. It would be foolish to think they'd send their entire army to Alma Mine. Yeah. Looks like it's a pretty tight quarters there. And the merchant can't be far. What do you mean? You seem confident of that. Very well. How do you know that? Kill. select a few men from the brigade to do a thorough search of the area. Select the people who are the least competent in melee combat. The merchant could be close, but he more than likely got lost. Right away, Captain. Or he could have gotten murdered. And you'll be next. The explosives are here! Hey! That was easy. Even faster than I thought. Stock was right on the money. Now we can go in. Just pretend that makes logical sense. We'll just go along with that. I suppose it kind of makes sense because of how close this event is to where the two timelines split up. Permission granted, soldier. Let's blow this mine. Ah. How did you know how to work those explosives? But alright. Yeah, now we can continue onward. Ha uh ha. -huh. Proper from your perspective. Oh. Um. So, yeah, we're going to be needing to do this trick oftentimes in one timeline or the other to, yeah, circumvent problems. Let's go over the details of the mission once more. We have reason to believe that Grand Org's forces are infiltrating this mine. Our job is to find and annihilate them. Kill them all! Captain! They won't be able to send a huge force into a cramped mine, so I doubt there's too many of them. But don't let your guard down. This will be your first battle. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, they didn't seem to think very highly of us, either. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, sure, melt away. <laughs> Just don't melt into sand. All of them? What do you mean? Captain? No, it's nothing. Oh. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about that. Prepare to begin the mission. Everyone must stick together at all times inside the mine. Whatever happens, under no circumstances should you go off alone. Unless you actually find yourself alone. 
we'll leave a detachment here to guard the entrance. If the enemy should happen to reach this point, they must be stopped at all costs. That's all from me. Anything to add, Stock? You all know what Captain Roche's top priority is. Murdering as many people as possible? It's to bring you all back to Alistel alive. Oh, or that. Don't act rashly. Just believe in your captain and give it your all. Do that, and Rosh and I won't let any of you die. Let's come home with a victory to show for it. Well, it is the military. Yeah! We kind of intend to put you in harm's way. It's go time. Let the prophet Noah guide you. Yeah! Follow me, men. Eh, you're better at the cheerleading than I am, Rosh. <laughs> Yeah, stack is the brains in this outfit. What? Oh, already? What's the matter, Rainy? It's a problem. Um, it's nothing. Everyone keeps on saying that. I do not think it means what you think it means. But, come on. We need to deal with the enemy as quick as we can. I agree. Let's move on. But carefully. Didn't... We already established that? That reminds me. Supposedly there are goblins in this mine. We'll find ourselves facing them, too. That's... Don't go and let them get the best of you before we face the real enemy. Oh, and Keel? Your sword dancing is impressive, but it's not fit for combat. Don't get overconfident. Oh, yeah! We needed to find someone who knew how to do sword dancing. Understood. Unfortunately, we're right in the middle of a mission, so he can't help us. But eventually, we'll ask him. But alright, okay, first things first. Let's get these guys out of the way. Okay, we got Basilisks there. They are weak to ice and thunder. So, let's see what we can do here. Let's go left on that one. And then, since they take up two tiles, they'll both cover up these two tiles with the goblins there. And then, let's see, thunder, get a couple good spells in there, and that should be easy enough. The enemies in this dungeon are pretty vanilla, unremarkable. They have some elemental weaknesses, but that's about it. Hey, all right. So yeah, what spe stock specialty in magic is with fire elemental spells. Although Rainy does learn other elements besides thunder too, but you know, stock needs some help too. Wow, I'm getting really lucky with these preemptives. Okay, let's see. So these uh, goblin knights, they have no elemental weakness, so there's nothing we can really do with them. Let me see if I can do this the way I want to. If I go one, two, three, four. Yeah, I can do this. Okay. So let's see. Now, Rosh, as far as his uh, assaults go, he only... Oh. No, that wouldn't... Well, yeah, we can still make it work. But yeah, Rosh only has left assaults, so there's only so much we can really do with that, and I don't have uh, Marco's grapple at the moment, so hmm okay, this will be a little sloppy, but it'll get the job done okay, so basically get everyone in the lower left corner there and wipe them out with a couple thunder spells oh, so yeah, here's our first uh, support skill with the support attack Sometimes when you start a combo and you have someone in the reserves with the support attack, they'll randomly start a combo with just a regular attack there. A little extra damage. The proc rate on that is based on your luck stat. So you may want to consider that for equipment of characters in the reserves. But we don't have anything for that right now. Whoa! Shit. Was there a cave-in somewhere? Whoa! That was a 
wasn't in the original translation. This is a pretty old mine. I'm also nervous about what the enemy's up to. Keep your eyes open. Well, don't tell that to... What was her name? Well, not Ah, the, the lady with Ah. Okay, there was Ah Van Lise. That was her name. Yeah, I knew Ah and Vanna. So I forgot about the lady who always has her eyes closed for some reason. Is that like an anime thing or something? Like they had that in my last LP too. I don't know, but here we get the heavy nail. It's a pretty good piece of armor. Contrary to what the name would indicate, it is not very heavy. It doesn't reduce your speed or anything like that. So that's pretty nice. So yeah, let's give that to Rainy there and then just hand down equipment from one character to the next. And that's usually what I like to do with body armor for the first four characters because they all share the same armor draw but I don't want to always buy like three of the latest tier of armor because that would cost too much so you just hand it down like that and that will suffice for what we need to do but all right we got a little treasure there let's if I can grab one of these barrels there you are so yeah there's only three new enemies this dungeon, so I'm only gonna fight three battles. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't think I could get past them, but we found the new enemy anyway, or the other new enemy. Let's see, yeah. Amber leeches, they are weak to fire and poison too. But I don't think that's gonna be very useful to us, so I would not worry about that. Hmm. I'm just trying to think if there's a way I can win this relatively quickly. Okay, if I go. Okay, hmm, this will be a little tricky because, yeah, Rainy does not have fire, so I'm going to actually have to have Stock take care of killing the enemies with the spells and all that, and yeah, okay, yeah, I think this will work. So we'll just take them out two at a time, assuming my spells can one-shot them, which probably won't kill all the Goblin Knights, but we'll see what we can do. Working a little better than I thought it would, but yeah, I didn't think we'd get that last one, but that's okay. I hope you like the sound effect goblins make in this game, viewers, because you're going to be hearing it a lot. Did you really think you could beat us? I would pay real money for DLC to remove the goblin aggro noise. They sound like a chicken trying to blow their nose into a Vuvuzela or something. I... What was the point of that? What, just to annoy you? Okay, well anyway, okay, so that's all the new regular enemies around here. Shut up. Okay, so I wanted to draw the goblin on the right there to the left. So that way I could drag this barrel over there without aggroing them and getting into another battle there. But yeah, you saw another one of those amber leeches that I stunned down below there. Hey, Captain. Hmm? How's it going? We've been all over this mine and haven't run into anything but goblins. Are Granorg's forces really here? No, not really. I just thought I'd waste your time on a nice camping trip. Yeah, I don't think there's been any mistake. Oh, or, or that. Okay. What's with the sulking? Well, you seem to have a lot more pep when we left Alistair. Well, I was looking forward to brutally murdering people. Oh, no. It's just, I feel a little let down. I thought transferring to the normal army would mean I'd see some action in a huge battle. Instead, I'm tromping around in a half-collapsed mine. I guess I never thought I'd be in a place like this again. Again? Mm -hmm. Again? Have you been on a mission like this before? Were you a miner before? Maybe. What is that about? Quiet. Quiet, you! I hear something. You do? 
Oh, I don't hear any. Whoa! What the? Uh oh. Damn. It's a cave in. How can you be so calm? Get moving. Don't just stand there. Well, I can time travel anytime I want. And they died. Oh, or not. Damn it. This won't be easy to move. Maybe stack can move it? Hey, are you guys okay? Yell if you can hear me. <laughs> How about that? Yes. Any injuries? Sir. C Captain. Link up with the detachment we left at the entrance. And then run away. Captain. We'll keep going and search for the enemy. Oh, or that. Once you meet up with the others, do something about this passage so we can all regroup later. Yes, sir. Hey. Yeah, maybe we should be more careful. I, I thought I was dead this time for sure. This time? Rainy. You mean like the beginning of the game? Never mind. I just got a little freaked out. Ah, well, okay, never mind. Pay no attention to that, viewers. Looks like we won't be able to get out for a while. Nuts. Keel, you okay? Couldn't we get out the other way? I'm fine, Captain. Good. Glad to hear it. Now that the tunnel is blocked, the enemy can't pass through to Alistair's side anymore. Well, we can't either. And the tunnel from here leads straight ahead. There's only one place they could be, really. Well, we're kind of at a fork in the road here. Where'd all this come from, Keel? You seem to really know your way around this place. I actually used to work in a mine. Plus, I've been to Alma Mine before, so I know more or less how it's laid out. Oh, you mean they didn't give us a map? That would explain it. I guess you can't judge by appearances. Well, what do you mean by that? So you think if we go down this path, we'll find them? I'd say so, yes. But there's two paths. Kill. I should warn you. It looks like we'll have to fight them off ourselves. Wasn't that plan A? I'd never order you to go first, of course. You'll be supporting us from the rear. But this will be a pretty grim situation for your first real battle. Are you up for it? If you're not sure of yourself... I'll do it. Please, let me help. Let me help, my senpai! Might not be as good as you or the sergeant, but I'll still do my best. Good. That's what I like to hear from my men. In that case, let's go on ahead. Yes, sir. Now, let's see. The path up there leads to the end. I don't want to go that way. I want to go this way. So, let's see. We got another treasure we can get over here. Man, they got a whole bunch of those green crystals on the ground here, but... Man, we can't break that. Hmm. Well, remember that for later. Eventually, we will be able to break those. And this is actually a pretty good place for farming those things if you really wanted to. I mean, it really should never be necessary, but it is available here. But can we fork the Grand Org Invasion into the Alma Mine? Find out next time on Let's Play Radiant Historia Perfect Chronology. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!